Hey guys, Calamity here and welcome to Genshin 3.1. The update just dropped and I'm already in the uh, character trial for Sinnoh. We're going to give this guy a, a, a run and I'm going to share my thoughts on the character and try him out. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But before we actually start fighting stuff, first of all, they gave us Kali, Barbara, and Noel. Interesting. Uh, that's two healers. I wonder why. Um... Wow, we nice idle animation. All right, let's look at his talents first and foremost. Let's see if there's anything fancy here. Uh, normal attacks for consecutive spirit strikes, charge attack. Pretty normal stuff. There's nothing too out of the ordinary. Okay, so his skill. We have uh, secret right cosmic soul fair. Performs a swift thrust, dealing electro damage to opponents along the path. When Sinnoh is under the Pack Sworn Path Clear, Pack Sworn Path Clear state triggered by his Sacred Right Wolf Swiftness, so his burst, he will instead unleash a Mortuary Right that deals thunderous AOE electro damage and extends the duration of his Pack Sworn Path Clear. Whew, that's a mouthful. Let's look at those attributes. Skill damage 208%, point six at level 8. The Mortuary Rite does a bit more. Uh, actually, a lot more. 251% almost. Pack Sworn Path Clear Duration Bonus. So you get it for an additional 4 seconds. Has a 7.5 second cooldown. However, if you do use the Mortuary Rite cooldown or uh, version, you get a shorter cooldown of 3 seconds. Interesting to know. Let's look at the burst. So it calls upon a divine spirit to indwell him, morphing into the Pack Sworn Path Clear. Uh, let's see. Sinnoh's normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to electro damage that cannot be overridden. Uh, Sinnoh's elemental mastery and resistance to interruption will increase, and he gains immunity to electro charge damage. This effect will be canceled if he leaves the field and lasts up to 18 seconds. So, I'm guessing these are added to his multipliers for his mul his normal attack. So you are going to want to increase his talent, if I'm understanding this correctly. Charge damage, plunge. So he gets a 100 EM bonus. It has a basic duration of 10 seconds, but can be extended up to 18 if you use his elemental skill. 20 um, cool CD and then uh, 80 energy cost seems to be the pretty standard cost of burst these days. So nothing too crazy there. All right, let's look at his passive talents. So when Sinnoh is in the Pack Sworn Path Clear state activated by his burst, Sinnoh will enter the End Seer stance at intervals if he activates his skill while affected by the stance. He will activate the Judication effect, increasing the damage of his... Uh, of his skill by 35% and firing three dust stalker bolts that deal 100% of his attack as electro damage. Um, the dust stalker bolt damage is considered elemental skill damage. Good to know. Uh, Sinnoh's damage values will be increased based on his elemental mastery as follows. Oh, you're going to want to build big EM for this guy, huh? Pack Sworn Path Clear's normal attack damage will increase by 150% of his elemental mastery. And the Dust Stalker Bolt from his passive talent, uh, Feather Fall Judgment, is increased by 250% of his EM. So definitely, definitely want to build EM on this dude. <clears throat> Gains 25% more rewards from Sumeru Expeditions. Okay. Let's take a look at the weapon. His signature weapon is the Staff of the Scarlet Sands, which it's only at level 80, not max level. I don't know why they do that, but uh, he will be getting a higher base attack as well as higher crit rate. Uh, this is actually a really high crit rate, by the way. And he gets the Heat Haze at Horizon's End. The equipping character gains 52% of their elemental mastery. Again, another reason to build more EM on this guy. As bonus attack, uh, when an elemental skill hits opponents, the Dream of the Scarlet Sands 
effect will be gained for 10 seconds. The equipping character will gain 28% of their elemental attack as bonus attack. For a maximum of three stacks? Holy damage! Uh, that's a lot. Artifacts, they give him the Gilded Dream set, of course. He gets a lot of EM for free off of it. So, pretty good stuff there. We'll look at his constellations later after we give him a test run. So with that being said, let's actually try out the character. Holy moly. So, let's give him the shield. Get some aggravates in there. Charge attack is pretty much the same, and then we're seeing his L or his normal attack there. Let's try the burst. Wowee. There's the AoE version instead. Oh my goodness, of the skill. Really good damage there. Holy moly, dude. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, they definitely wanted to give you a aggravate slash um, hyper bloom uh, team. And that is definitely the team to play with him since that elemental reaction seems to be doing better these days. Now you could potentially do some overloaded and electro charge type of shenanigans if you want with him. And I'm sure that they could work fine. But definitely I think aggravate is the play, especially with so much elemental mastery. So let's take a look at his constellations. We have the C1, so after using his uh, Wolf Swiftness, which is his burst, Sinnoh's normal attack speed will be increased by 20%. That's a huge increase for 10 seconds. If the Judication effect of his passive talent Featherfall is triggered during his uh, skill, the duration of, of this will increase. Will of this increase will be refreshed. What? You need to unlock the pass. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Holy moly, though. Dude. A 20% attack speed increase that resets when you're in burst. Well, I mean, you're going to be in burst form already. So when Sinnoh's normal attacks hit opponents, his electro damage will increase by 10% for 4 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 0.1 for a maximum of 5 stacks. So 50%... 50% electro damage as long as he's constantly attacking stuff dude these two constellations right here big damage increase this gives him 20 percent faster attack or uh, faster attack speed which a refresh available if you do the skill right this gives you straight up 50 percent electro damage damn c3 and 5 where do you know is plus three to skill and burst respectively, so uh, that's actually pretty good damage for him, I'm sure. Especially when he's using um, the burst. So let's look at C4. When Sinnoh is in the Pack Sworn Path Clear state triggered by his burst, after he triggers Electro Charge... Okay, basically any Electro Elemental Reaction, or even an Electro Swirl, he will restore three Elemental Energy for all nearby party members except himself. This effect can occur five times within one use of the sacred rate of his burst, essentially. So you can get 15 elemental energy back. He's like a pseudo Raiden Shogun, essentially, since he's getting you um, your teammates burst back. That's a pretty nice uh, constellation. And then his C6, let's take a look. After using Sacred Rite's Wolf Swiftness, or the Burst, or triggering the Judication effect of the passive, so his again, the Featherfall Judgment thing, Sinnoh will gain 4 stacks of the Day of the Jackal effect. When he hits an opponent, when he hits opponents with normal attacks, he will consume 1 Day of the Jackal to fire off 1 Dusk Stalker Bolt. 
Day of the Jackal lasts 8 seconds, maximum 8 stacks. It will be cancelled once Pack Sworn Path Clear ends. A maximum of 1 Dust Stock Bolter can be unleashed this way. And you must have the Feather Fall. Um, this one doesn't seem that great just because his Dust Stalker bolts, at least they don't seem that well. I, I it was hard to really notice them, but I'm, I'm sure this is a fine constellation. It just doesn't seem that amazing compared to other C6s I've seen before. Oh, you gotta just time it. I see. I see, I see. So let's try that again. Oh, I want more enemies! No! No! So that eye is when you should... I see. So that eye, when that pops up on the screen, you want to use your skill for the feather fall talent. I understand. I get it. Okay. Let's try one more time. Damn! Am I blind? Because I am not seeing those Dusk Stalker bolts. I get it, I get it. So, this character is actually pretty cool and very, very fun. He seems very, very strong right off the bat. Like, I would, I don't know if he is the strongest character to, you know, example, like comparing him to like a Yalan or a a Raiden Shogun or a Hu Tao, for example, but he is a very strong character in his own way. Um, I'm sure with properly built teammates. Again, I would probably not have him in this sort of team. Uh, Barbara does work though. Kokomi would obviously be better because of the jellyfish. Um, Kali is a great Dendro support. You can also use Traveler. Um, or any other future Dendro characters could make him an even stronger character, depending on how they apply Dendro. Uh, and yeah, we have Noel here for the shield. It it did say he has resistance to interruption, but it didn't feel like it. I got flung when I got smacked by uh, some hill trolls. So overall, I think Sinnoh is a solid DPS on my first impression of him. The only thing I have to say, and I might notice it when I'm editing this video, is I still did not notice the dust stalker bolts when I use the skill at the right time with the eye. I'll have to, maybe I'll see it again when I'm editing, but I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can point it out to me about the dust stalker bolt things. Um, they, they were not noticeable to me. Um, but overall, the character is very fun, very solid. And if you want to pull from him, by all means, you, you can't go wrong. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'm going to make videos for the other characters as well uh, when they come out, like Nilo. But uh, I'm also going to probably do Can Candence as well. So thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.